Okay, so I'm going to try and do a quick review of the Horizons Phonics and Reading Program. This, um, I have three years before me uh, on the floor that we're going to go over. We started out using the Hooked on Phonics, because um, that's a pretty well-known name, but transferred to this. I liked that it was a Christian program, and it just worked a lot better. To me, the Hooked on Phonics was more a supplementary thing for kids or like in public school or who are struggling with their present reading um, curriculum. So this is a full curriculum. Anyway, so going over the kindergarten, you've got four different readers. And I'm only going to look at a couple of them to try and keep this brief. Um, in the very, very beginning, the stories are super duper simple. You know, and it shows you how much is in here. And, you know, again, just very, very easy. You read it with your kid if they're not able to read it themselves, which is quite possible considering it's kindergarten. And, you know, you might be doing um, rhymes. You might be doing all of that. But it goes with the lesson that you're doing in your workbook for the week, which is something I really enjoyed. By the end of the year, the stories get harder. They're funny. My daughter absolutely loved them. And they had reading retention questions, um, which I really, really, really enjoyed. And again, they go with what you're, um, what you're learning in your workbook. So if you're learning about, um, you know, IR, you'll have a whole bunch of words with that in your, in your reader. And I'm sorry, I have soot stained fingers. In the workbook, um, you know, in the beginning, like here's lesson one. You will have, um, you go and review the alphabet. This also comes with a, like a puzzle or something you can, I cut out and put it above my ceiling so the kids could see it. It talks about it. You, you know, you do all sorts of things with your very basic beginning. Okay. Um, I also really, really liked that they had read the makeup words. So these are pretend words that goes over, and again, this is lesson 40, so they're reviewing consonant blends, C, R, C, L, B, R, and B, L. So they're just making sure they really understand the premise behind it, and they're not just memorizing the word. Um, so just going over real quick some basics on this. Oh, and if you're a much more organized mother than me, um, you could actually use this for your handwriting. You wouldn't need a separate one for it. I did not because I would have to make her redo it all the time. <laughs> um, but, you know, my daughter just really, she did so well on that. Um, at the test of last year, kindergarten, um, she tested at a third and fourth grade level. Um, the teacher book, I would say they're necessary only because the pictures are a little odd. Um, but they have to be because they're, they're showing you... Um, actions and sometimes they're showing you like a name like Dan which just going by I mean how are you going to know some guy's name is Dan um, but the workbooks are so colorful they're fun um, they have a good amount of new and review and it's all clearly labeled easy to use easy to plan very very simple but thorough and enjoyable okay so now we are in first grade we're about quarter of the year in at first, when I opened this up, I was like, what is this? This is so different. They've got these weird ladder things. Um, but it was kind of a review. And then when we got into it more, I just stuck with it. And then I, I've, I really enjoy it again. I just thought the beginning was a little odd. Again, you could use this for handwriting. This year, they've started adding things like... Um, use these words to make up sentences. So they're just getting into a little bit of that creative writing, which I'm so thankful for. They've got some word crossword puzzles. They've got little things for them to draw. Lots more writing. Um, they, um, I wonder if I, where they are. They also have started doing tests, which I like. See, um, test two, what do you remember? 
and it's just a review of like all the stuff they have. Um, I like these because if you have to keep a portfolio or whatever, um, it's good just to keep. You don't have to keep the whole workbook and you can just show your kids progress, the different kind of things they've covered and your backside is covered. So, um, I mean, of course, it's also helpful for you to do supplementary work on whatever your child needs. So that's the first book. And the stories that they cover in the beginning are, are things like this. Again, they go really well with um, what you're learning. And they still have the um, questions. My daughter really enjoys the stories. They're usually very good stories that are encouraging good behavior and respect and why you want to listen to your parents. Um, and here's the second one. Just different as, as they kind of go on. And, and again, you could reuse these for multiple kids. You would just need more workbooks. So that's kind of nice. And then the second, second workbook. Again, they'll have, um, you know, write a sentence using each contraction. They go over all sorts of stuff. The creative writing aspects, handwriting. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm very pleased with this. Very, very pleased. And then the second grade. Okay, so of course we haven't used this yet. Um, the one thing I've noticed so far is that the stories, the font is smaller. They're a lot um, more thorough. Some of them, like Robin Crusoe, they're, they're more famous writing. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. And they have little tidbits on, on the front. And at first I was like, where's the retention questions? No, I loved that part. But they have them in the teacher workbook. So it looks like you're going to have to have, use this one a little bit more. Um, so here's the reading. And they have the comprehension questions afterwards. And you can see, um, granted, this is, you know, they have, they have a lot more of them in there. So towards the end of the second book, you know, this one apparently is talking about a sin, just a little bit. Um, I haven't seen anything in here yet that wouldn't fit most people. It doesn't go into things, you know, really deeply. It's just trying to be good people, good stuff. Um, and here's a look at, this is the second workbook, so the more advanced. You know, divide the compound words. They do go into compound words in... Um, in, in the first grade as well but they like to make sure you remember stuff so it, it has a good bit of learning new and just a little bit of hey do you remember that oh yeah I noticed this one started using um, I liked this we've talked about it but I haven't seen anything taught in, te uh, teaching the antonym synonym yet so I mean I just I don't have anything but wonderful things to say about this curriculum so far. Um, I think it's pretty affordable for what you get. It'll take you through the whole year. Um, I like to be um, a little bit more planning intensive on some of my other um, curriculums like science and history and art. Um, so for me to have something that I really trust to do a good job and kind of a no-brainer. I don't even really have to plan anything for this. Um, it, it just, it's its a good curriculum. I highly recommend it. Um, I, I just don't have anything negative to say about it. It goes well together. It teaches your kid. It's fun. It's colorful. It's easy to keep pieces for um, all sorts of stuff. Um, my only thing is I don't know if you will need an additional spelling or not um, with these curriculums. Um, I tend to be a little bit of the kind of person who does more than less. So I've done some of that too because my daughter <laughs> enjoys it. So um, we don't do a lot of spelling, but we do some. And I haven't found a good curriculum for spelling yet, but she does really good spelling when we're doing her spelling. But when she's doing the creative sentences and stuff, she somehow seems to forget it all. So anyway, um, I hope this has been a helpful review and kind of giving you some ideas for kindergarten through second grade on um, phonics and reading and possibly handwriting. So thank you so much and have a great day.